Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios. Today's video is nothing else, really pretty simple, but it's pretty really cool guys. If you guys are wondering what really want ever wanted to run Windows 95 onto your Android, then today is the day. Today is the day to take in the momentum. Have a great and God bless day. Because today, Windows 95 made itself on Android. Now let's get see how this is actually implemented and how it works. Now this is an Android device, as you can see on your screen right about now. There's nothing any special, and there's no. And here's the best part: you don't need root for this, so it's a great, great strategy. Just remember that it all depends on the device of how long this actually um, boots. So take that in mind, and then we will take that into a reminder when the video, when a part of that video does come up in this video. So what you need to do is you need to download the file for the, the requirements. You need to download the, the file of, of the Windows 95 image I left in the description below. You can download it completely free and you need Limbo. I'll also leave that link in the description for you to, uh, to take you directly to Google Play Store and download it completely free. If, you, if it says your, your device is incompatible, then I suggest you to download Aptoid, go to Aptoid and download it from there or Blackmart, which you can also download from there as well just to bypass that system, which Google Play Store falsifies your device is not compatible. Um, so yeah. So once you actually have Limbo, be sure to run Limbo first. You need to run it to be able to, to create the folder first. So once you actually do, does, does create the folder, you're gonna be, you're gonna first, you're gonna see, oh, you are gonna see it in your internal storage of your SD card. Now what the what you're gonna do is to to set this up before uh, before actually configuring in in uh, Limbo, is that you need to instantly have to be able to extract them. So I recommend ES File Explorer because it's just a little bit more better. So now you're gonna you downloaded the file for Windows for Android, and now what you need to do is extract both. Now you don't need XP because we don't we're not, we're not setting up XP at all. But we're going to set up Windows 95. Windows XP does it a little bit differently than what Windows 95 does. So just take that to mind. And that's why. Once you extract them both, you need to move both both files to the Limbo folder as you saw in your SD card or, or internal storage. You're going to see all these files. Don't remove any of them because they are important. Um, and then you're going to see them both here. Once you see them both here, you don't have to worry about the XP now because, as I said, it's completely different. But um, I'll have another tutorial on how to do Windows XP and then Windows 7 and then Windows 10. So you guys can get an estimation of what's going to, what, what you guys can um, do with it. So with, when you have the Windows 95 image in place in the Limbo folder, all you need to do is close your file manager. Make sure it's fully closed because you don't want to mess up anything. And now run the Limbo um, application. Now you already have to create a new... Um, a new um, OS such as when you click new it's gonna ask you to do it we're just gonna name it you can name it anything you want and then um, when you load the machine you have to like you know ooh, it, it's just basically a person new so we're not we're, we're not really going to uh, do that um, but when you create a new um, machine such as we name it number 95 um, your user interface needs to be set on SDL Nothing else. You can't put on VNC, but it's just a more of a complex um, process because you're going to have to download another app that's VNC and then have yourself as a local host. And I know it's kind of stupid, but um, SDL just makes it automatically more manageable. Um, so now you're going to go to CPU board and you're going to see the architecture, CPU model, CPU cores, and RAM memory, which is in the megabytes. Now you're going to set your architecture to 86 because as past times, Windows 95 never supported um, 64 bits. And you don't ever want to put 64 bits, as you can see here, because it can cause some issues with running the OS. For CPU model, you can either run QEM, Q, QEMU32 or the Pentium. Don't put anything else because you don't really need to put Pentium 2 or 3 because, as I said, this is an old OS. So we're going to just stick with QEM, Q, um, e, QEMU32, just the best one. For your CPU cores, if you have a four-core processor on your as your device, just look, say, search CPU-Z or Android, Android Analytics, and it will tell you how many cores do you have in place. So if you have those cores, you can actually set up to four cores. 
many people suggest have just one, which it, it, you don't really need for, but increases the speed of, of the OS and, and tremendously. For RAM memory, for RAM memory, you need to put up at least you need to put 512 megabytes. You can put 520, but there's more likely of a chance for it to crash and not load up at all. Um, so down below to hard disk A, you need to find the find the the IW5 image, which when you find it, it will take you to the limbo folder. When you go to the limbo folder. It's gonna take you just go to scroll to the bottom and you should find your image. Load up the image into hard disk A and you just click open. So I said if you went we went to here and we wanted to open another file, we have to open and basically it will take us to the limbo folder and click on it. So unfortunately we're not gonna do that because unfortunately we don't need hard disk B. We only need one because this is gonna be our primary hard drive for right now. Um, once you get that set up, you go down to renewable storage. You don't add, actually don't have to do anything here. Just leave them alone. And VG and MISC, you need a VGA display. You need to put STD. I'm not talking about the ZZ if you're applying that. No, I'm applying as a display uh, method STD. Don't you? You can't put you can't put Cyrus, but recommendation out of out of to make an OS boot. Is STD. You don't have to do anything with sound card network or network card or DNS server or host forward, but that's pretty much if unless you're you know what you're doing. Um, from boot settings, you don't have to do anything. Just leave them alone. Um, as well, from a pen, you don't have to do anything as well. Um, but for advanced, you need to keep have enable full screen, and you're gonna change. You need to change your orientation from auto to landscape. The reason why I'm telling you this is because if you don't do this. And you and you instantly rotate your device, it's gonna crash, and you won't. You will have to do redo it again. Just remember when you just remember that, that depending on your device, um, you just come up here and run it. Depending on your device, um, it depending on how long it will take. Usually, Windows ninety five takes a few minutes. And we're gonna go on. We're gonna go on the road and just experience this. Just remember that Windows 95 doesn't take long for it to boot, but usually the first time it boots, it usually takes a pretty much about less than five, five seven minutes or less. And that's pretty much it. So if you get to this screen, don't worry guys, just wait and it will boot. This is how the way uh, Windows 95 you just used to boot where it would just sit there, sit at the screen at a black screen with words for a couple of minutes and then that's what it what would show. And yeah. So we're here and we're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting. It doesn't really need to take time because I actually shut down the, it wouldn't take that far, but we're going to be experiencing this together, guys. Um, for me, my tutorials, I, I like to keep it where you guys can experience how long it would take, depending on the device. So you guys can make sure that, you know, you guys can, you guys can skip this at any time to a point where it loads up, but, um, if you're in here for the ride, then yeah, then so be it. Ah, man, guys, ah, I hope you guys didn't enjoy that 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 video I uploaded earlier. Man, that was a crazy video. But we're just having some conversations, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah. Should be booting up not too long from now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It should be loading up. Three. Come on. I know this takes forever, guys. It doesn't take forever. It's just because of it looks like Windows 95, you know. I think it's going to move faster. I mean, the good thing is you have uh, 96%, 96 to 98% free of RAM. So, uh, so that's a really good thing. I tried Windows XP on here, but some, for some other reason, it's slow. It is a Man. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you guys start it up again and it is just it's just horrible. It's just horrible. This is what happens. This is what happens when you're booting up something like that, and it's just, oh look, I'm waiting here for five freaking minutes, and then the next thing you know, you're just like, come on, there we go, oh, there we go, it's starting, it's starting, guys, starting, guys, starting, guys. So you'll first be presented with this after it boots, after it finishes. 
Um, you won't be able to use a trackpad at this moment, but you can enable it if it doesn't enable. If it doesn't enable, just press back on your thing and just click on the mouse icon. Usually it does does it automatically, but if it doesn't, then you just enable it and then you can just you, um, use your screen to move the mouse. So your screen is to move your mouse and your 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 um your select button. So like if your ma your your left side of your mouse is uh is to select something and your right mouse is to like thing. I believe that to get to that option you have to put the down on the volume button and it will bring up the secondary menu, a drop down menu. This does take time guys, so just be aware. Um a little bit of time, not that much. It is way more faster than what when you're waiting for the time that the for the um, for the OS to actually completely boot. <sighs> Come on, there we go. We're showing you how the whole process looks like. So now we, the system is going to finish booting in not too long from now, and there you go. You have it up right now. So it's still loading for some odd reason. And um, yeah, so this is Windows 95. This is the way it used to be before Windows XP. So if you don't know what Windows XP is, it's basically a copy of Windows 95. Just with newer stuff and stuff like that. And there were design added. So it's just like a basically of Windows, another copy of Windows 95. Just a little bit proof, new UI and the wallpaper, support of wallpaper and stuff like that, all that stuff. And it was really cool. And it's for some odd reason, it goes by your time of your of your of your device, but it's one minute before, so you can see on my screen right now. So now we're now it's done booting. Um it's not fast as it as it's supposed to be because I'm recording, but if I wasn't recording then the, the mouse would have been a little bit faster. But um if you want to select something, just tap your screen over, above something and it's gonna it's gonna click on something. Apologize for that noise. And then it's gonna open it's gonna open everything, and I'm and I can show you guys that this actually I don't know how much RAM is free right now. I think it's like a lot of RAM that's free. Um, so what I like to do is I like to go to Windows Explorer, click that, and it's gonna take a bit just for it to load the load the screen, load you know load the file. Explorer. Now the file explorer on here is completely different than how you can normally see on Windows Seven, Windows XP, or Windows Ten. Because it's completely different, and it's kind of weird but cool at the same time. Because you can see like two screens instead of saying one screen, you see two screens, and I really like that where you can see two, where what's another window instead of having two different windows and have to see like physically. Okay, I want to open this window, but it opens another window. Like it's just completely stupid. And there we go. Now we have all our programs here. We can install programs, and if we're gonna see go to help, click help. And then we're gonna click about Windows 95. I'm sorry for the thing to be so slow of the mouse. It's just because I'm recording. So we got five ninety six percent free of RAM. So that's a lot of RAM, guys. A lot of RAM that we have for free, which we can use to our, our, our availability. So we have five hundred twenty three point five hundred twenty three and six hundred forty eight. That's like five hundred twenty four technically of of megabytes of RAM, and it puts it in kilobytes, but it's actually megabytes. And that's a lot of RAM, guys. You can put a lot, of, a lot of programs on here. That's if you know how to. I don't know how to exactly put. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to actually put programs on here, but um, internet doesn't actually work if you if you want to. But it's really good to play around. Um, but if you have a, if you have a method of installing programs on here, then let me know because I really want to use programs on this thing. But. Um, it works just like a Windows. That's it. That's pretty works just like a window. When you wanna when you want to like get out of it, don't whatever you do, don't don't go here and just say shut down. Cause it's gonna ask you to avoid cor any corrupt data. Make sure you have already shut down the operating system from within the VMU. Continue? No. This meaning that if you if you shut down that way, it's most likely to give you give you where like if you go to like say for example you turn off your computer while it's on and then it gives you that menu to so start Windows normally and it's gonna be a bit of an issue because for one you can't you can't um you can't change it you can't really um select or anything even with the keyboard and it's kind of stupid but what you want to do is to shut down is just to select shut down and what it's gonna do is gonna it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to shut the computer restart the computer restart the computer in MS DOS mode close all programs and log on as a different user. 
And just re we're gonna click, click yes. What it's gonna do is gonna do a process as I usually does on a regular computer where it will shut down. You're gonna see all these squeaky lines, don't worry about it, it's normal. And then you're gonna see this little dot. Once it's actually done, it's gonna show you an image of shutting, please wait, shutting down your, your computer and then have Windows 95. This does take some time to shut down, but in overall, it's pretty worth it, guys. It's pretty, pretty, pretty worth it. Once it's done, it will automatically take you to where if you start want to start the, the the VM again, and that's pretty much it. Right now, it's just being too slow. But other than that, it pretty much works as how the way it is. It's just slow because I'm recording recording it. But if you guys actually want to download these for yourselves, I'll have all the links to this video in uh, links that for these files and especially to Limbo, um, completely free. And you can download them right in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. If we get to up to 500, 500 likes, I'll give, be giving away Zombies Chronicles for Black Ops 3 for, for free. And that's only if we reach up to 500 likes. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.